Do you know what makes Ubuntu such a user-friendly Linux distribution? Its Package Management System, APT or APT, stands for Advanced Package Tool. It's like a magic wand that makes installing, updating and removing software a breeze. But to ensure it works its magic effectively, you need to understand the importance of keeping your repository list up to date. Why is repository updating important? because it gives access to the newest software releases, benefiting from enhanced features and bolstering security through upgrades, bug fixes, and ensuring system stability, all of which collectively enhance the software experience and system reliability. It's a must-have skill in your Linux toolkit. In this tutorial, I will show three easiest ways to update a repository using both CLI and QI. And all the commands used in this tutorial are added in the description box. So let's start. Updating the repository list is like refreshing your software catalog, ensuring it's in sync with the latest offerings, making it essential for keeping your system up to date and regardless of adding or removing software sources. Let's begin with CLI. Open the terminal and enter the command sudo apt update to update the repository, providing my password, and you can see the repository is updated. Now I will do the same thing but using GUI. But before that, I will clear the terminal and will minimize the terminal also. Now clicking on show applications icon and search for software updater, click on this and checking for software updates will be started automatically. And you can see my system is up to date, but if your system is not up to date, then you will have an option install it. So you have to click on install it and then your system will start updating. So clicking on OK. Imagine you have added a new repository to the Ubuntu system. Then you must update the repository list and it is recommended by the developer community to make the system aware of the additional repository metadata that was not available by default. For example, I will add new repository and subsequently show the updating procedure by using both the CLI and GUI based methods. First, open the terminal and enter the command sudo apt at repository and the repository link. I am adding the Mozilla team repository. Now hit on the enter button. So the repository is added. Now to update the repository, enter the command sudo apt update. Finally, to check the added repository, type apt add repository dash dash list and hit enter. So here you can see Mozilla team repository is added in the repository list. Now I will add another repository using GUI. So click on the show applications icon and search for software and updates. Click on this. Here you can see other software, click on it. Mozilla team repository is in the list already. So now click on add. Here you have to provide the link. I am providing the link. I will add the flat remix repository. Now click on add source. I have to provide my password. So you can see flat remix repository is added. Now click on close. Then you have to click on reload. So adding is done. Let's check. Again click on show applications. Then software and updates. Click on other software. And here you can see. Flat Remix and Mozilla Team both are in the list. So now we have learned how to add repository using GUI and CLI. Suppose you have deleted a repository. In that case, the repository list also needs to be updated, right? Because the update will ensure that no data is present in the system after deletion of that repository. Open the terminal again. And to check the repository list, enter the command apt add repository. 
dash dash list. From here, I want to remove the Mozilla team repository. For that, enter the command sudo apt at repository dash dash remove and the repository link. Now press enter. Again press enter. So removing is done. Update the repository again with the command sudo apt update. Now check the repository list with the previous command from history. So you can see Mozilla team repository is not anymore in the list. Now to remove a repository using GUI, again open the software and updates and then click on other software. And now select the flat remix repository and then click on move, provide your password, click on close and reload. So to confirm the deletion, again open the software and updates, then other software and here you can see no more new repository are in the list. So to keep your system up to date with the latest software and security updates, I have shown three different ways to update the repository. Hope you found this video helpful. Stay connected.